Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about a problem which is based upon Carl Pearson's coefficient. And uh, this is going to be my second example of uh, for this method. And in the previous video, I have shown an example in which we were asked to calculate the Carl Pearson's coefficient and the variable variation in x was very small. Like you can see here, uh, one and then two. Here the differences were just one and two to three is uh, again difference one. But here you can see the difference is uh, between 148 to 152 is uh, uh, four, and uh, here again uh, one difference between 152 and 165 is 13. Uh, so here uh, the solution of this numerical is going to be a bit different from the one we have done here and uh, the link for this video is in the description you can uh, easily access to this video before watching this video do watch this video and then come to this video and uh, without any further delay let's get started Uh, go through the formula and the formula for finding the Carl Pearson's coefficient is we have R equals to and this uh, divided by N times here the difference is greater so N times and uh, this is a bit difference so we are going to denote uh, summation X with DX and uh, some uh, times DY summation x y uh, in the previous formula we had used summation x y and here it is going to be summation dx and dy and uh, i am going to for i will discuss uh, i will discuss about what is dx and dy later uh, while proceeding with the solution of this numerical and uh, right here summation minus summation dx times summation dy and this whole divided by uh, root under and we have we will have n times summation dx square and minus summation dx whole square and the bracket here then again start the big bracket here then we will have here n times summation y square minus summation y whole square now we need to find the value of each and every variables uh, which we are uh, we, uh, we which we can see in this formula uh, so for that i need to draw a table so let us first draw a table here so guys uh, here i have drawn a table as per the formula which uh, in the formula we had some variables and uh, we uh, i we need to draw a table uh, so that we would be able to calculate the value of those variables so here we have i had a table x and y so i have simply substituted the value of x in x column and y in y column and now we need to f we need to know what is dx and uh, uh, dy so here first of all we need to know a a is the mean of these terms here we have x so we need to calculate the mean of x and we already know that mean x mean equals to summation x and this divide by n so for that we need to add all these terms and divide this by the number of terms. So add 148 plus 152 plus 165 plus 172 plus 175 and uh, 178 you will get some value and then divide, divide that sum by number of terms and we have number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So divide this by 6 and we, you will get the assumed mean value uh, x bar that is a here it is a so we will get that value equals to 165 and similarly here uh, a small b a small b is here a small b is here summation y upon n so uh, for that what we need to do is we need to add all these terms and divide this you will get some value and divide this by number of term and the number of term is 6 so we will get uh, summation b or the mean for this uh, y mean of this y elements will be uh, 52 you can check this let me show you now see here guys uh, we need to calculate the sum value of summation x so summation x is going to be 148 plus 152 plus 165 plus 172 plus 175 plus 178 and uh, total it is going to be 990 and divide this by 6 we will get 165 which is going to be a here now uh, for b we, uh, we will have here 
uh, summation y means add all these terms so 48 plus 48 plus 52 plus 55 plus 58 plus 62 then total we will have 323 and divide this by 6 uh, we will get 53 so here we got 53 point something 33 three. so I it is going to be uh, I have taken approximate value which is 52 which is available in this y you can do this uh, so here the assumed value assumed mean of y b is equals to 52 here and for x a is equals to let us uh, denote it by capital B and so it's more capital A is uh, 165 and capital B is 52 now we need to calculate the value of dx and dx equals to x minus a so subtract 148 uh, subtract 165 from 148 so on subtracting 140 165 from 148 we will get some negative value that is minus 17 I'm going to show you show this in you to you in calculator uh, here we have x minus a and x is 148 so 148 minus and the value of a is 165 so 165 we will get minus 17 and similarly we need to calculate all the value that is uh, and we need to simply uh, subtract this x from this assumed mean so we will get minus 13 and 165 it gets 0 and again 7 and 10 and 13 uh, let me draw a line here now we need to calculate uh, value of dx square so minus 17 square is going to be 289 13 square is going to be minus 13 square is going to be 169 and 0 square is 0 7 square is again 49 and uh, 10 square is 100 and uh, uh, 13 square is 169 now uh, dy we need to calculate dy so dy equals to y minus b y minus b so subtract uh, 52 from 48 so 48 minus 52 on entering into the calculator you will get minus 4 again minus 4 uh, then 0 then 3 6 and then 10 now dy square so calculate the value of y square uh, dy square then minus 4 square is going to be 16 16 0 9 36 and finally 100 now we have one more uh, table that is co sorry column and that is dy times sorry dx times dy so dx is this column and we need to find the multiplication product of these two columns so minus 17 times minus 4 is going to be positive 1 1 9 similarly minus 13 times minus 4 is going to be 90 1 and 0 is 0 minus 7 sorry 7 times 3 is going to be 21 and 60 and 130 now find the summation some add the all these values so we will get 3 3 1 summation value 165 and minus 7 and 7 76 now close this table and we need to get this use this value in the formula to get the final answer so simply substitute this value in this formula we have r equals to uh, i am not going to rewrite this formula i am simply going to uh, put the values here so we have n and n is 6 so we will have 6 times summation dx times dy summation dx times dy is 331 uh, yeah then minus summation dx times summation dy summation dx summation dx uh, summation dx this summation dx is 0 and summation dy summation dy this is some dy so summation dy is minus 7 so 0 times minus 7 and this divided by root under and is 6 times summation dx square and dx square is 776 so 776 minus summation dx whole square summation dx this is dx summation dx whole square means 0 square and close the bracket again start the bracket and is 6 summation y square and summation y square 
is uh, summation this is summation dy square and summation dx so summation dy square is 165 so 6 times 165 and uh, minus summation dx whole square and summation dx is uh, summation oh, sorry summation dy so summation dy is minus 7 minus 7 whole square on solving this we will get the final answer and the final answer is we will get 20 4.871 so this is the final answer i hope you understood this video and see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and do not forget to share this video with your friends